Good morning, YouTube. Today is March 17th, 2024. We are on our honeymoon here in Grand Cayman. It's Sunday morning, and we're actually venturing out of the um, Caribbean club, where we're, or Caribbean club, where we're staying. What's the right way to say? Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Or can it be both? I'm not sure. Here they more so say Caribbean, but not everybody that we talk to. Like we're like, oh, Caribbean club. Like, oh, Caribbean club, on our way. So I don't know. But we, uh, it's our first day venturing out to go get breakfast because at the place we're staying at, they have a restaurant called Luca and they have like a brunch every Sunday. But because of that, they don't serve breakfast and breakfast and they don't have food for another few hours. So we're walking over to our favorite spot that's not here anymore. What? Babe, where Lauren's go? No, this is it. No! That was my favorite spot. Oh, I'm at, I'm at, not being dramatic. This is the was the best breakfast spot on the island. Oh, fuck, <laughs> I'm hungry. All right, maybe they moved to a bigger spot. I think maybe because of COVID. Oh my God, that took out a lot of the businesses. No. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go find some breakfast. Dang, that makes me really sad. But we're gonna take you along with the day with us. Come honeymoon with us. Yeah. It's kind of like a recovery day because we've been like going hard. Yeah, I've been going <laughs> we were on a hard. boat yesterday. We were, we were out the fun. latest ever with some friends that we met up here. And uh, now we're gonna go eat. But come along for the day. We're not playing, just found this on the floor. We're gonna see what this is. A nose pass, no Charizard. Damn it! I think this is her uh, angry walk. Angry, assertive, trying to get to breakfast walk because look how much space is between us. <laughs> and she's just like not looking back. She don't give up. Looks like the jacket's off. This is an expedition. An expedition's like more than an adventure, right? This is an expedition. I'm drenched. Just for breakfast. And we're Lewis and Clark. Clark and Lewis. Do you know that song? Oh. I used to have to sing that when I was in elementary school. In a play. No, it's like the expedition. Lewis and Clark. Clark and Lewis. Trying to find a can. <laughs> no? You went to homeschool, don't you? You yeah. probably won't know. I think we have found. Oh, we made it. Ooh, wow. All right. Never been here. This looks great. It took a part of my soul. Part of your soul. <laughs> so I am going to say that the reason that we don't have a car is my fault. Because I didn't get my driver's license in time and don't trust this one. She doesn't want to drive here. I don't trust myself. It's the side of the road, you know. So We're just getting our steps in. You yeah. Know? Staying healthy, staying fit. <laughs> Sweating out any alcohol that's left over. You know, We really haven't drank that much. Like, we have both had one day I had a different day than she had where I got like really drunk. She had one day where she got really drunk, so. I wasn't drunk, I was just very tipsy. Yeah. She said, she didn't say she's ever drunk. She says, I'm very tipsy. <laughs> Never drunk though. Never drunk. Never drunk. It's not classy. No, just very tipsy. No, we got tipsy. I wasn't like throwing up. Oh, watching some basketball, hanging out with my wife. As a, my one week wife. It's been a week. It's Sunday. Hi, I'm your wife. This is Guzman. That's so crazy. I like it. Sometimes I just look at it. <laughs> All right, guys, for breakfast, we're keeping it super simple. With a little bit of instruction when you're ordering, you can make a big difference in, honestly, how many calories you're taking in. Simply by asking for egg whites, whole eggs, a mixture of it. So I got two whole eggs over here. Uh, four egg whites, specifically asking like no butter, no oil, just spray. 
um, to keep it clean. And then we have some sausage for some more fat, some potatoes, toast. Probably not gonna eat all the potatoes. Maybe looking at like mm, 40, 45 grams of protein here. Probably gonna get in a nice 30 grams of fat or so, a heavy amount of fat for the day. And 60 to maybe 60, 80 carbs. So simple, easy, and goodbye because we're hungry. Look at that break. Look at this breakfast. So dang, girl, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, it is now one o'clock. Hi, you took a nap. I just started the show Yellowstone. I just finished the first episode. What do y'all think of that? Should I continue? Let me know in the comment section. Um, also, we're about to go work out. So I had a bag of these Quest chips, chili lime flavor for a little more protein today. Four and a half fat, four carb, 20 protein. And while Heidi took a nap, I was just playing some, uh, playing some Game Boy. This is the, obviously the 3DS. I got this white one that I thought was super cool. Um, and I'm playing Pokemon White. Because you guys didn't know, I'm playing them in order, right? All the way from blue, yellow, all that. That's why I got like those original Game Boy colors. But now we're in 2011, according to the game. Pokemon White's like a nice new world, you know, for me to explore. So hey, I'm having fun, having a lot of fun. And today's back day, back and bicep. And we're gonna go check out a new gym that's apparently like super cool and very nice. So never been before because it just opened. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't have any pre or anything, don't really need any. Uh, I really haven't had any pre-workout this whole trip, which is like kind of a nice little break to be honest. So let's go. Let's see what she's doing first. Ready? Yeah, let's go. We'll get a cab because it's kind of far. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> If you guys a whole outfit breakdown really quickly. This is the Crest hoodie in this ombre color. We got the logo right here. It's very subtle, the ombre, but it does go um, from a darker, richer blue to a lighter one. It fades up. On the back, you've got the Alphalete Word, the globe, um, the white Elite Swift shorts, the two in ones with the liner with the zippers. And then I've got the, <laughs> the Bruce Lee's and I've got this washed blue performance or t-shirt on with the athlete there and then the big wolf on the back. You'll probably see that later when I'm working out. I'm not about to take off Modi. This is all available now. You can shop it at alphaathletics.com and use code Guzman. Save 10%. All right. We love this place so much. So nice and spacious. Ready? Yeah. Oh, tripod. Okay, ready. Do you know that these are the number one selling cookies in the world? What kind of cookies are they? Milano cookies. Milano? Mm -hmm. With the chocolate in the center? Are the number one selling cookie in the world? Mm -hmm. More than Oreo. More than Oreo. Damn. Maybe carbs keep going into the as well. This is you. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> I'm not that deep, eh? Oh, this is you. <laughs> Wait, let me open the legs. Guys, no. <laughs> no. This is me. Oh, it's like, yeah. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> How have I never thought of that before? I've never thought of that before. How a tripod can like be both this and that. The bird and the bee. The rec room?
So I'm not telling you the full truth here. We actually came here last time we were here, but at the time, this whole entire area, which is called the Grove, was just getting built. So the rec room, which is a gym, it was like one third of the way done. So the owner let us like work out there and it was just like the personal training studio. They hadn't actually opened like the main weightlifting area and all that. So I haven't seen, we haven't seen any of this that we're about to see. Um, I'm gonna record and give you my reaction. Ooh, that's nice, that's bougie. Look at that. It's a nice setup. With the lights. Hi. Is it okay if I film? Okay. Uh, perfect, I'll just try to turn off. Right, and just like that, we are out uh, because it's $175. They don't have day passes. Only week passes. Or three day passes. They only have week passes. Seven days, and guess how much it was? It was $175 a person. Week. So we're not working out we're there. Like, yeah, <laughs> Hotel gym? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all good. You know what? Maybe we just did the wedding. You know, we're, hey, nah. No. We got to stay. <laughs> oh, should we? Well, that, I know we're going to go here one time and then go back to the Yeah, we're, yeah. Hotel gym. On a budget, so. Yeah. Turn in a new leaf. Look at you. This is the first time I've ever heard him say budget. Budget. I'm like, budget. 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 <laughs> I have that trash can at Alpha Land. Wow. That's so cool. Well, that's where all your money went. Yeah, I know. That's a very expensive trash can. <laughs> Look, they have them everywhere. Ah, good taste, good taste. Where are we going, baby? It's hot. Yeah, I don't know. I need some shade. I need to take this hoodie off. I do want to say that this restaurant here called Mykonos is where we came for Heidi's birthday. And the coolest thing happened here. Literally, we were sitting like right here and all of a sudden mark cuban walks in right just casually with his family and stuff and sits like we're sitting here he sits right there on that bench and Hi like every time i looked at heidi i could just see him and it was so dope so you paid no attention to him. I <laughs> did i say hi hell no <laughs> I did not stare. Like I was like looking at you, I, was, but I could tell that you were looking right past me. Yeah, but not not obviously, you know? <laughs> uh, really good restaurant if you guys ever come here. It's called Mykonos. Like the place. How long do you think it'll be? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Where? Is there some AC to sit in? Damn. This is like not our day, man. That's crazy. Look, they have those two. That's crazy that this is in this store here in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I call this one Old Faithful. World Gym here is a great one. We love it, we know it, and we want to go to work out, so hotel isn't gonna suffice. All right guys, first thing we're gonna be doing is a lat pull down. Now, pretty standard, I know, but a few cues I'm trying to think of on my set is, I've recently been really trying to make this cable go like straight down and keep the path of this cable perpendicular to the floor instead of I used to lean back a lot um, when I was doing these and kind of start like powering through some reps and everything, but meaning the cable would start going this way because I'm leaning back. So really just trying to keep upright and focus just as much on the stretch as I am on the squeeze. In the past, I used to really focus on the squeeze and not really focus on controlling, slowing down, slowing down and like stretching intentionally. So that's what I'll be doing today. That's a little light. Stretch. 
stretch there. Partials. Keeping form. Okay. That's it. One, we're going to do three of these. Okay. For exercise number two, we're doing T bar row. I'm going to be going with a pretty neutral grip right here. Right where the bar starts to curve is where I like to go. I don't care what weight you're doing, but I'd rather you start off and just be sure you have your form perfect. I like to do kind of acclimating sets up, locking in my form before I actually get to this weight. So for example, I did no weight for like, I don't know, eight reps, but I braced my body pretending it was my working set weight, right? Do that, then I add a plate, and I'll go like three or five reps, just really tight. Two plates, three reps maybe, and now I'm doing my first working set here. We're gonna see how it feels. Chest stays up. Still, though I'm not braced anywhere, I'm bracing myself with my core, I want to still allow my lat to stretch, which can be tricky and something you definitely develop more and more over time, or at least I did. But here, check it out, see how it looks. Also, I like to kind of purposely think about keeping weight more on my heel than on my toes. So I'm almost like leaning and sitting back into it with the bend in my knee and keeping my chest up. Press pause, okay, take like three breaths and then go again. <clears throat> Third movement of the day, we're doing a single arm pull down. Now, this happens to me, it just happened to me, and I'm sure this happens to you guys in the gym as well. You go to a machine, you look at the picture that shows the instructions, you do it just like the picture, all right. But then that happens. And then you're like, that's not a full range of motion, I don't feel a stretch. So feel free to like, kind of make, you know, feel out what is, what's most comfortable, but the most important thing is you have to be sure you're like, getting like look at this difference here so by bracing myself with this arm right keeping my knees on the ground and stretching this just makes this exercise like 10x more valuable than if i were just sat down and done a shitty range of motion and not gotten a stretch right so i'm gonna bump the weight up a little bit and we're gonna start with our weaker arm so my left side's weaker i'm gonna start here Brace, chest up, stretch. Also, I'm trying not to get my trap too high. Ugh. <sighs> 
anytime I do one arm at a time, if it's this or if it's a dumbbell row, I like to give maybe 30 seconds or so instead of just going from one arm to the next. We're if we're bodybuilding, we're focusing on building muscle here or shredding down, retaining muscle. Like our main purpose in the, tra in the weight room is to do just that, maximize the resistance, effort, workload. So don't be afraid to take a little bit of rest in between arms or in between sets. We're not in here trying to just like do supersets and get a high calorie burn. We're trying to keep as much strength and gain strength and get progressive overload every single exercise, everything that we do. And that just means getting better form, getting another rep, um, improving your technique. Like it's all yeah, kind of rambling. But shut the fuck up and do my set. I see so much of sh like crap in the gym, especially not at Alpha Land. Like, it just makes you want to like give more tips. <laughs> Are you getting these out? No, no, no. You can rotate in if you want. Are you sure? All right, fourth exercise, we're doing a seated cable row with the close grip V-bar. We've already done a vertical pull. We've done a pull this way, right, with the T-bar. We did an individual pull, and now we're gonna be hitting our final angle for today, which is gonna be oh, um, perpendicular, or sorry, parallel to the floor, straight pull this way. On this, my biggest issue that I always like mess up and I'm really conscious of now is my traps shrugging up. This one is really easy to when you're pulling, you kind of like pull it up, right? And I'm really going to focus on keeping traps and shoulders down. And I'm going to focus on pulling the cable, the bar to my belly button, not my chest, to my belly button to engage more lat. And I'm going to focus on coming in with it, right? Coming down and stretching. And this is when you can't shrug up. You got to keep them down and pull down. So like, let's see how this goes. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. That wasn't my best set. I'm drop it down a little bit. This is why I didn't do a feeler set before. I just went right into it. And then I like regret it because if I would have done a feeler set, I honestly probably would have gotten a dumbbell and sat on it because that's what I'm about to do right now. All right. Now what this is going to allow us to do is drop the weight a little bit. But we're gonna be at a higher position, all right? Closer, all right. Higher position here to really focus on pulling like this. Oh yeah, that's it. Should've known better. I really like the dumbbell seat variation on these. Highly recommend you try it out. Sir. We have moved the workout outdoor. Here at World Gym, they got this pretty cool 
outdoor area with some dumbbells. So moving on to biceps, simple stuff, simple stuff. I got it. Uh. Oh, okay. Don't hit the window. Oh. <laughs> this bar is like super curved. I don't see any weight clips. Oh, I do, okay. We grab those weight clips, babe, right there on the bench. Yeah. Every time I have these plates, I feel like I can just like drop shit, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Here I've shot 15 pounds on each side of the bar, equating to 75 pounds total. Gonna be doing some curls for the girls. For the girl, and we're gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, all right, let's wrap this up and go to the beach. Okay, you can be sure I'm in frame it pretty good. Like for the, you know, maybe zoom it in if it's like. You want to call a taxi? Yeah. <sighs> 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 Main thing on curls, you guys, control the weight down and don't swing past your body being perpendicular. So it's okay to do a little bit of this on the last few reps. Just don't do this. Blow your back out. Let me think, let me think. Okay, to finish off, we're gonna do my favorite bicep movement of all time. It's called the Zotteman curl with the Z. Z-O-T-T-O-M-A-N, Zotteman. What that means is we're gonna, with dumbbells, stand straight. You're gonna start just like a normal alternating dumbbell curl with your hands like this, neutral grip. You're gonna come up and supinate and twist your pinky out as much as, but really supinate that pinky outwards. It's gonna get more squeeze in the bicep, right? And that's something that we didn't really get with the barbell. Yeah, you get the curl, but the benefit to dumbbell over the barbell is going to be that extra little twist that you can get. So twist, but then what makes it a Zotteman curl, not just a standard alternating, alternating curl, is from here, we're going to go ahead and in this flex position, go back to a neutral grip. So now you're in a hammer curl position and back down all the way. Okay, so you start neutral, you're coming up and rotating, 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 peak rotation, Start twisting back to hammer and start descending slowly. That's one rep, right? This is great kind of tack. It's a, I find a better alternative than just a dumbbell hammer curl because you get the twists and stuff. And I just, I just like it a lot. So, and honestly, I'm gonna I'm looking for like 20 pounds right now because I'm pretty fried. And this gets really heavy really quick with if you're controlling your tempo and like doing good freaking reps. Where the hell are 20s? Fuck. Mm. Or 25s.
This one mainly key things chest up don't pull the rope with the triceps chest up with your knees bent but you want to focus on like bringing these elbows down towards your hips and that should really help you engage the lat a little bit better do you have a workout do you have a good workout oh yeah i'm gonna be so sore i haven't trained a lot so the volumes Is that not what you do? I mean, I do, but vacation, <laughs> I was like, I was, yeah, I give myself a solid 85. It's a lot. Yeah, I did good. I went heavy on leg press. Six plates? On each side? Or three on each side? Yeah. You know Michaela does seven plates on each side? Yeah. I saw it the other day. I was like, that's impressive. I'm going to put salt on my wings when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, <laughs> when I'm down. I'm like, I did three. That's wild. I know, she had like grid form. I can usually do five. That's like what I do. I can do like six, I do like six to eight plates of a heavy leg press. Like I'll, six, seven more, like I'll, hardly ever eight. I'll put four in each side tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start doing leg press more. I like leg press. Especially those tires, I went in, I looked at it, I was like. And you just I'm laid there? Yeah, I was like, you just lay your leg garbage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's filming. Okay. All right, physique update. Is this good? Yeah. All right. So I don't have a scale here. I haven't weighed myself in like maybe a week, pretty much. Uh, last time I checked, I was at 202 pounds, but I feel leaner than when we got here, for sure. Here. Pretty much it. That's all I got. So <laughs> just want to want to document it so that way, you know, in another week or two we can check again. This is definitely the best lighting. Um, if I want to be super real with you guys, let's keep it rolling and let's come to the natural light so you can see the difference. Here. Like that. But uh, that's where we're at. So we're about to head to that beautiful beach. You know, one thing I love about Caribbean Club is that they actually have a Texas flag there. You see it? Oh my. They, they do the US flag and the Texan, the Texas flag. Wow. Why yeah. is that? Because uh, they love Texas. Is that camera so heavy for you? Yeah. <laughs> Show them in the mirror what it looks like, you holding it. It's so heavy. <laughs> Look at this. It's bigger than me. All right, let's go. Okay, bye. Oh, I should just send that. That's a good, got a cool bag. All right, bye. Let's go. All right, dinner time, early dinner. It's like five o'clock, and we ordered food from the Caribbean Club. Caribbean Club. I went ahead and got two chicken breasts. So that's two chicken breasts right there with ketchup for some protein. And then I ordered four spicy tuna rolls. Ooh, look at that. With no avocado, because honestly, like when I'm eating sushi, I like to minimize the 
sauces, and I know there's sauce in there. I didn't know it came with sauce. I would have said no sauce, but I like to minimize the fatty sauces and anything with fat, tempura flakes, all that. Just take it off because it tastes just as good without it, you know? So there, for those two chicken breasts, that's dinner. We're having a great time here at the beach. And yeah, show me your burger, babe. <laughs> that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Meat, cheese, bun with avocado. Oof. I uh, beg to differ on the sauce. <laughs> the mayo is my favorite, but you know, we use it sparingly. Sparingly, okay. <laughs> you go, it tastes just as good. I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Babe, that's huge. It's three shots. No, you got it. Babe, no. You got I'm it. Not taking this you got it. One more. <clears throat> nope. I need a chaser. Mm. Chilling. And just like that, we are going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along a day with us on our honeymoon. And you got to kind of see what a day's like here. And uh, I'm definitely want to record another one or two videos before we go home. We have another week here. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. Give the video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one.